Hey guys, today I'm reviewing the El Dorado Casitas Royale in the Riviera Maya. The El Dorado Royale is operated by the Charisma brand and it is massive. Its beachside span is about a mile long. The resort is divided into three sections. The El Dorado Royale, which is adults only, the El Dorado Casitas Royale, which is the higher end section, also adults only, and then there's Generations, which is kid friendly and more of a hotel style. You can use and visit any of the three sections of the resort. They have many pools. I think there's over 14, but I couldn't tell you the exact amount because that's how many there were. There are 15 restaurants, 17 bars, including swim up bars, and two spas. It's an all inclusive resort, excluding spa treatments excursions, and a few types of drinks. The grounds were unbelievable just because of how large this property is. We stayed in the casita section, which is a 10 to 15 minute walk to the main lobby. They do have golf carts, shuttling people around, which is definitely helpful if you don't want to walk. It's a beautiful resort. The design of the buildings, the pathways, the vegetation, all top notch, five stars. The room at the Casitas was amazing. We had a ground room floor, which I don't normally recommend, but in this case I do. Since there is a lazy river that connects from your back door to the pool with a swim up bar. The style is extremely charming and it's really cute how they arrange a greeting with flowers and pebbles when you arrive. The room had a jacuzzi and two showers, one inside and one outside. Now that's luxury, five stars. The food was pretty good and all inclusive. They actually like to refer to themselves as gourmet inclusive. They have a greenhouse on the property where they harvest their own vegetables. They also have many restaurants, which is nice if you like variety. We went to the restaurant Le Chic at the Azul Sensatori Resort. It's an amazing experience if you want to break from the all-inclusive options. 4.5 stars. The pool automatically gets five stars because there are tons of them. The main pool was ginormous. The El Dorado and Casitas rooms are arranged into smaller groups with their own pools. The fact that some of the pools connect to your room via Lazy River is just awesome. And there are swim-up bars, five stars. There were a ton of activities at the El Dorado during the day. There was water volleyball, tequila tasting classes, fitness classes, I'm just naming a few because there were so many activities, five stars. There are many things to do and see in Mexico, and I highly recommend you doing your research before arriving. That way you are prepared and aware of the wonders that Mexico has to offer. Five stars. The beach. I was pretty disappointed in this beach because as you know, I choose my destinations based on the beach. The beach itself was beautiful and very long, which was nice. There were enough cabanas and beach chairs for everyone at the resort. However, there was tons of seaweed piles of it. I saw the staff desperately trying to get rid of it. I've talked to many people about this issue and apparently it's the currents or the time of year that makes the seaweed come up. We went early September, which is hurricane season. Maybe that's not the best time to go. Even if the seaweed wasn't there, the water looked a little rocky in some places. I also wanted to note that those big rocks sticking out of the ocean are in fact not rocks. The resort deliberately placed them there to create one of the world's longest artificial reefs. It's supposed to protect the coast from natural erosion and provide a new habitat for thousands of species. I like to support companies that are environmentally conscious and go the extra distance to preserve our planet. Apparently these rocks will be submerged within 10 years. As beautiful as this beach was, I did not go swimming once because of the seaweed. And I really love swimming in the ocean. Two stars. Overall, this resort was incredible. Everything about the El Dorado Casitas Royale was perfect except for the seaweed, which is out of their control. If the resort was on an island with pristine waters, I would definitely go back. Charisma has many other hotels around the world, including Jamaica, so I'll definitely have to check that out. I'm rating this trip 4.5 out of 5 stars.